Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I did my last video, right? I think it's about two or three weeks ago, right? I've been very busy with work recently, and um, this is the part two of a series which I'm trying to compare um, the two filter baskets, right? One from the original preview, right? Which is the one on the left. Right, and uh, the one on the right is the generic um, filter baskets, right? Which, if you are interested to uh, purchase one, you can find the link later on in the description. Right, um, the difference between the two baskets is the generic one that I'm holding now can contain up to 20 grams of coffee beans. Right, which uh, I have tested it, it gives a much stronger coffee, it's more intense. Yeah, definitely because you can actually pack more coffee ground inside. And um, so I've weighed uh, two, 20 grams of beans. And today we're going to test it out on the the Bambino Plus as well as the Smart Grider Pro. Both are preview product, which work wonderfully for me. Right, so before we start, you realize that if you're using the original Polo filter from Bambino Plus, there's a plastic inlay, and uh, you can actually knock out the plastic inlay uh, by using a small um, screwdriver with a, with a hammer. You can actually uh, knock out the plastic inlay, and I believe it's better to remove the plastic because um, it's still plastic and we are taking uh, hot water even though it's supposed to take uh, the temperature of water um, the plastic over time will also um, accumulate uh, the coffee stain underneath the plastic so once you remove it you uh, it will reveal the bare stainless steel behind and it's much easier to clean uh, the only problem is um, stainless steel tend to lose heat pretty fast so um, if you don't heat up the bottle filter, bottle filter before you use, you act like a heat sink. So um, before you run any, if before you extract any coffee, it's good to um, heat up the bottle filter before you do the extraction. So what I've always do is I always run a blind shot uh, through the bottle filter, right to heat up the uh, bottle filter together with the cups. So um, this is a good way you can heat up the powder filter at the same time, warm up the cup, right? And uh, I'm going to use uh, two uh, single single shot cup um, and pull a double shot. So um, uh, I will just pour the hot water right from the cup that you can see in the screen into another cup, which is uh, exactly the same cup that I'm using. Right. Uh, of course, you dry out the uh, polybutyl first because it tends to trap some water. Right. So I'm going to use two cups, uh, which I pour the hot water over to warm it up. And uh, you realize that I'm going to use uh, another extra mug to contain the water that's uh, used to heat up the polybutyl and the cups. Right. I have some use for this uh, level of water in the mug later on. And today we're going to use the maximum class beans from Cafe Metella, Rome. Right, it's one of our best selling beans. And if you're interested to get the beans from me uh, in Singapore, right, you can find out and again in the descrip uh, description below. Right, I'm their sole uh, importer in Asia. I think they do export to Japan as well. Right, but besides Japan, I think Asia, uh, I'm the only one that uh, one they are. Uh, their representative and this is the uh, ABS dosing funnel which I have designed it fits on the Bambino Plus polyfilter as well it will fit on all the black all the ground
So you can see the coffee ground stays inside the bottle filter, right? Uh, really, there's a zero um, wastage of ground. So as usual, I'll just need to type, tap the bottle filter at the, um, the, the, the dosing final at the side. <coughs> so to make sure that the coffee is the coffee ground distribute evenly. And I, I prefer to cup, uh, redistribute the coffee ground with my fingers before using a distributor to distribute the ground. So the, the distributor I'm using is a continuation from last episode. I'm using the distributor that have a rich, uh, ring rich uh, pattern. Um, it will, it gives the, uh, the coffee ground a, a ring like texture, which is supposed to allow a better uh, pre-infusion, pre right? Allow the water to distribute evenly and um, hoping to get a best, better extraction but this is not um, confirmed yet because uh, I have to run a few more tests by comparing the distributor, the normal distributor versus this one so this uh, I will do in another episode as a comparison so always clean the ground at the sides so that it doesn't catch underneath the uh, the group head and uh, I will just do a light uh, temp using the uh, the temper that comes with the Bambino and the tricky part about Bambino if you try to make two cups uh, side by side is the spout from the polar filter is pretty close to each other so you have really have to align your cups very well um, otherwise um, there will be a bit of wastage of coffee so let's view the extraction from another angle I didn't really time the, I mean I, I didn't really weigh the extraction because I have uh, yet to play around with the setting where I, cu I can customize the timing of the shots the extraction looks good, it's uh, very creamy right, uh, the flow looks uh, pretty good, it's not fast right, so you can see the coffee uh, with very good crema, oily very thick and creamy caramel same as the other cup right let's try to froth some milk another nice feature about Bambino is the auto milk frothing feature of course uh, personally I find that uh, it's a bit difficult for to make latte out from the milk froth milk frother I still prefer the uh, Steam One on the Brevista Pro. Right, um, I can get better texturing on the Brevista Pro as compared to the Bambino Plus. Right, but if you are not a person uh, that really concerned about latte art, uh, this is really a convenient feature. And the, the taste of the milk and the latte you make is actually quite good. So the whole process of texturing takes about a minute, uh, less than a minute in fact. There's the uh, auto temperature and temperature sensor at the bottom. Uh, you have to make sure that your milk jug is uh, pressing the but the temperature sensor. So uh, once the temperature reaches uh, the desired one, you will stop frothing. And one more thing is about the maintenance, right? To the cleanup of the steam one after the milk frothing is done. I prefer to perch the uh, steam one into a mug which I have, uh, have water from uh, hot, the hot water that I left over from warming the cups. So the leftover milk in the steam one is perched directly into the cup. And on my machine, somehow the steam one is not aligned uh, perfectly against the drain hole on the drip tray so when it uh, try to purge the leftover milk out it will squirt all over the place which is really a mess and uh, I feel that this method is easier for maintenance right and I think um, 
this is a much much easier way to clean up the machine after the usage right hope you like uh, what I've done today um, as a conclusion I do find that the 20 grams um, filter basket does make a stronger and much more intense coffee of course the uh, you're able to uh, pack more grounds into the filter baskets so I hope you like what I'm doing right um, do uh, subscribe and like our video and uh, ring the button for future video releases and thank you for watching see you next time